All right, so we're here in the configure tab and specifically in this lesson we'll be looking at the team module. Of course, this is where you can invite coworkers and colleagues to your bot, giving them access so they can help build the bot experience or engage with users. Now there's three main functionalities of the team module right here. The first of course is inviting a teammate. This allows you to generate a link to send to that person. They can then go into chat field, claim that link and get access so long as they have a Facebook account. More on that in a second. The other two functionalities are of course the ability to change an existing teammate's permissions. So for example, I'm an admin, so I have the ability here to edit other users' permissions. So I can click here and say I wanna downgrade my other profile from an admin to an editor. I can do just that. Of course, you also see here the third option, which is removing a teammate altogether. Perhaps this person no longer works for me, and then I can just remove them so they no longer have access and I have peace of mind. Now, let's go back to inviting a teammate. I'm gonna click on that and show you all the different roles that you can use and all the different permissions you can give somebody that you're working with. At the very top of the food chain, of course, is the admin role. This user has full functionality of the bot, including the ability to change the permissions of other users, as you just saw me attempt to do with my other profile. If I downgraded them to an editor, they would no longer have the ability to change my permissions, change my role, and instead they would be stuck as they are essentially. Next is marketer. This person has the ability to send broadcasts and personal messages to users, which is really helpful, of course, in terms of communicating with your subscribers. The step below that is live chat operator. This person has the same permissions, however, they can only send personal messages. This of course is ideal for a customer support agent who doesn't need to be sending mass broadcasts, just one-on-one -on -one interactions in the live chat tab. Finally, of course, we have viewer. This is somebody who perhaps you just wanna give access to the bot so they can see what's happening. But if they go to the automate tab where all your content is built, all those options will be grayed out for them. They'll be able to see it, but not change anything, which is helpful because maybe you're giving access to a client, you want them to see your work, but you don't want them to screw anything up, to put it bluntly. At the very bottom as well, we have the ability, we will have the ability in the future for you to pick and choose what permissions you wanna to give to specific users, which is super exciting, so you can customize this as much as possible. Two other quick things to mention here. One is that when you generate an invite link, so let's say I want to invite somebody to the bot and I'll generate an admin link. Once I do that and it generates that URL for me, say that I'm worried that this person, perhaps their Facebook Messenger or their email gets hacked where I send them this link and I'm worried that somebody else is gonna claim that link. At any time, I can also revoke access. So if they don't claim it, this link will still stay active unless I click revoke access, then nobody will at any point in the future be able to get into the bot using that link. So it's a very helpful security measure if you're concerned with anything like that. Just a quick note. And then finally, one very, very important best practice to mention here is that when you're working with teammates, so say that you have people who are working on the bot and you want to work simultaneously, that's really not best practice and what the team roles here are designed for. Because the issue is unlike a Google Doc where you can see the changes of other people in real time, that's not how the Automate tab, that's not how ChatFuel works here. So it's just to preview and see once you refresh the page what changes have been done. So I really suggest that you don't have too many cooks in the kitchen and instead it is really best practice just to have one person at a time working on the bot so there's no overlap or confusion. Hopefully that helped and I'll see you in the next video.